On video today, Freddy to here back with another how to play. Today we're looking at how to play this game, Avant Card from Resonem. It's a game that plays one to five players, about 25, 35 minutes, ages eight and up. And it has a box that opens up like this. It's all about Avant Guard kind of artwork. And it's basically a deck building game of sorts. Uh, you get all sorts of stuff here. You get these change tokens, which uh, actually have some. Try to show you. They have some unique ink on them. It's a little hard to see, but they're shiny in some parts. There you go. You see it there. And I got these ones on the free Kickstarter project where I got this. These are upgraded versions of those change tokens. Metallic. With a mask type look. That's kind of cool. This is the first player token. Get also UV ink. And we also got these two diamonds, which again have the UV ink on them. And those are uh, your hidden gem tokens. On top of that, you got these three different decks the Patreons. Uh, Patreon deck, a starter deck, and a gallery card box. And the, the way these work is kind of interesting. Uh, you're going to take this, and you actually unroll it open like this. It's a little bit finicky, as you can see, but it is what it is. In this box, you got cards numbered 2 through 7 in different colors, and you got these awards, and it tells you here, sorry this is all messed up, how many awards you're going to set up depending on the play account, so it's 24 for two players, or three players, and for four or more players, four or five players, it's 28 awards, so you count those out, one, two, three, four, five, six, We'll do that, 24, and the rest are going to go over here. And you're trying to get the most awards by the end of the game. And I'll just throw these over here for the moment. Uh, I'll use the ones that come with the game, as opposed to the upgrade ones. Then you have a Patreon card box, which is going to open the same way. And I'll open this one above it. And this tells you about the special ability that each number has. And you got different patrons, patrons that you can use. Uh, this is a nice list of all of them. Uh, the main ones are the New Yorkers. <laughs> I, I believe. Yes. And um, you could just get rid of the cards and use what's written on here if you want to make it easier. But there's also, top of New York is this Tokyoites and Parisians, and there's also the Londoners expansion. So I've got multiple sets of each one here. You can pick and choose which one you want each. Um, group of patrons have different abilities. We'll go with the basic ones here. Number two is the Perfectionist, and this one says, if you play the most twos or a tied, you get one dollar per turn. And you get that if you play twos. You get these abilities if you play that specific number on your turn. Three, this one's the Snob. You get a transfer card and then tuck an extra card. What tucking means is you can take a card, let's say you don't want a pink four, and you can tuck it and change the color of what's on top. Uh, the Gallerist. But you change this card's number to anything 1 to 7 or change its color. This one, uh, you get to draw a card or get another dollar. This one is the Trendoid. <laughs> 
I just wanted to copy the power of a previously played card and to get a dollar. And finally, we have the critic. Let's you draw a card and draw another card if you've played a five, six, or a seven. And so, so you get to draw cards. And then you got the starter deck box, which I'll show you. And it's like this. You have a set of cards for each player. We'll take two of them out to use. And put the rest aside somewhere. And they're all gonna slide down. <laughs> and in these decks, we each have the same types of cards. We each have three ones, three twos, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. Except the colors are gonna be different. And uh, try not to get confused. Playing as the colors, this is white, this is gray. There is a difference. And that becomes important, as you'll see, for the game. So you can mix up your cards. You have to mix up your cards. Which is what it is. And I also got the solar wheels here. We'll do that at some point in time. In the gallery card box, you have 12 twos, threes, and fours, eight fives, sixes, and sevens, and 32 awards. In the starter deck card box, so these cards are going to have 10 each of orange slash blue, red slash purple, red slash blue, orange slash purple, and red slash orange. Which is indicated by these colors on the bottom. And those colors help you identify which cards go with which starter deck. You'll see this one has different colors, which is kind of cool. So the setup is all that. You unroll the starter deck box, give each player one of these starter decks, unroll the gallery box and the Patreon box, and arrange them in order. And you're gonna put all these tokens over here. And the hidden gems over here. Or the metallic ones, if you're going to use those. Give the start player token to someone, perhaps the last person who went to an art gallery. I went to one that was like eons ago. <laughs> at this point, <laughs> like I was in school at that point. Um, actually, it says you give it to a random player, but you can do it whoever last went to an art gallery or whatever. And for gem tokens, you're going to use one only. If you're doing four or five players, you will use both. And your awards as well, you have to set up based on the player count. So what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle your deck, you're going to draw seven cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, leaving you with three left over. And my opponent's going to do the same thing. We'll just pretend they're doing that. I just want to show you how this works. So then what you're going to do, both of you, or all of you, however many you are, going to do this at the exact same time, simultaneously. And this is part one. There's two parts in each round. First one is everyone playing cards at the same time, and then each player will, in turn, buy cards. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at your hand of seven cards. And you're going to play cards down based on number and color. And you want to try to play as many as you can. So I'm going to play a two, another two, a two, and this tall, which is yellow. These ones I cannot play at this current time. So I will put them in the discard pile. Actually, uh, I think I keep those in my hand, actually. <laughs> And you can play as many as you want. Every card that you play is worth $1. So this is going to be worth $4. If I had played 6 it would have been $6. If I only played 2 it would be $2. That means is I can take this number, 4, and I can buy one of these cards. I can buy 2 2 if I want. I can buy 1 4. I can buy 3 and take back a chains for later on. I do believe. And yeah, you will discard the rest of your hand.
So yeah, an important thing to note is every card has to match the number or color that you played. So I got four. So I can buy, again, I can buy two twos. And in this case, let's just say, you know, we see my, my opponent's hand here. They'll play... Oops. <laughs> One, two, three, five, six, seven. They only need seven cards. Uh, let's see. Maybe they play... Two... Two and a twelve, and that's all they can play. So, since I'm the start point, I get to go first. I'm gonna look at how many cards I played. One, two, three, four. That's worth four dollars. So I can get two twos. I can get a four. Maybe I don't want more twos. Maybe I do. I don't know. Um. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a four. I'm going to buy a four. And you add this here to my hand. And it says here, you get to change the card's number, anything between one and seven, or change its color. Let me just verify something here about that ability. Actually, I'm looking at the Patreon list. Yes, so... That, when I play this four later on, I can make this any color, or I can change it to another number. So, that's a good one to get. So, I'm going to get that, and I'm going to put that all in my discard pile. And I can draw back up to seven, three, four, five, six, seven. And then my opponents can do the same thing. They played three, so they got three dollars. So, they're going to buy three. Yeah, that's what they can do. And this one says... Ah, they're not going to buy that. You're going to buy this one. It says they can trash a card, and they can also tuck an extra card. When they play a free. They don't get to do that immediately. And, uh, that was their hand. And you continue doing this, going back and forth. Now they're going to be the star player, and they're going to get to buy cards first. Now, how do you get the awards? You get the awards by spending certain amounts of money, as indicated over here. If you spend $6, you get one award. If you spend 8 you get two. If you spend 10 you get three awards. 11 you get four. And if you spend uh, 12 or more, you're going to get even more awards, basically. And you're just trying to get the most awards. It's an interesting little game. It's deck building. And and whatnot. It's it, like I said, it's pretty cool. So next time around, if I have a four, let's see if I do have a four. But I can't play the four. I could play the four individually and use this special ability. And actually, I will. I'm gonna play this. The ability is I can make this any color or any number. So let's say I make that a two, that two, two, blue, and that's all I can do. So again, I have four bucks I can spend. And maybe this time, and I can say if, you know, I played the most twos, I can use this ability for the twos. Since I played a two, you can use that ability. You can only use these abilities when you play that specific number. Uh, so I've changed the color. Can I use, do I want to use the ability to twos? So say I played most twos. I could have done this earlier. I didn't. But I would get one extra dollar. So now I have five dollars. And I can buy five. But again, you keep going back and forth like this. Until you've gone through all the awards. And then the game will end. And, you know, next time maybe I spend six bucks. And I gain an award. Later on, I gain more awards. You're going to go through these ones. You do have these as a reserve in case you need them as well. And so you could use the Patreon powers before, after, or in between buying cards in any order.
And you can also do your turn tuck card if you want once per turn. Which again is where you take the top card and tuck it onto the bottom so that you can get a different color on top. You may want to do that because you want a different color. You're going to be probably focusing on collecting a couple of specific colors so that you can keep playing a bunch of cards in a row and getting more money and more rewards and getting better cards. But you also might want to do it to screw with your opponents, you know, in this case. Uh, maybe they want to go for that five and you don't want them to get that color. So you change it on them. <laughs> Again, if you don't spend all your money, if I have five and I only get a four, I'm going to get an extra dollar. You can only ever have one of these. And on a future turn, you can use this as an extra dollar. So yeah, every $6 above $11, every $6 more above $11, you're going to get an extra award. So for $12, you're going to get five awards. If you do $18, you're going to get like six awards, et cetera, et cetera. And I do want to tell you about the hidden gem, if I can recall what that does. <laughs> Yeah, whenever you take the last award, the game will be over. At the end of that round, you keep going until everyone's taking a turn. You can take extra awards from the extra stack. Whoever has most awards wins. If there's a tie, whoever made the most money in the last round wins. If there's still a tie, I guess you say the victory. It doesn't say. And for the record, you cannot... Look through these cards, you can only look at the top one. So you're blindly essentially doing the tucks, you don't know what's going to pop up necessarily. The end of the round, you pass your token, the start player token to the left or to your opponent. If there's only two of you, put all the cards you played into your discard pile on the side up, draw seven more cards from your deck. If you don't have enough cards, you flip your discard pile over and shuffle it. To create a new deck, whoever has the fewest total awards will take a hidden gem token. So if I have the fewest awards, I get this token. If nobody has awards, nobody gets it. And a gem token is simply worth a dollar as well that you can spend. If you're doing four or five players and you have two, then the next lowest player will also take a gem. But if nobody has awards, nobody gets a gem. And yeah, that's basically the game in a nutshell. It's pretty cool. It's nice artwork, I guess. It's it's decent. It's interesting artwork. And again, you can, if you get bored of doing those rules or want something different, you can change it up. Like, for instance, if you play the most twos for this one, you get the Trassic card. Trassic simply means you take a card from your hand and you discard it. And you would do that to be able to get some better cards next time, I suppose. This one, you can play a concealed card. And if you play the most twos or a tie, you can veil a card to get a dollar per turn. So you play a card face down. And play the most twos or tie, you buy a two, three, or four for free once per turn. So that's kind of cool. But that's the game. It's pretty interesting. I do think the boxes are interesting, unique, a little bit finicky, I suppose. Not bad. Cards are decent quality, but just a plastic coated thinness. I do like these tokens, though I wish they would have just been more like a regular coin, as opposed to being with a RT face, but it is what it is. That is the game. Comment, like, subscribe, and what you think. Hopefully that makes sense. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.